Okie doke, we're rolling. Uh, as you can see, I did say we're not in the usual setting today. So this is from a hotel room in the lovely Galway. So over here today, finished client sessions. I'm about to head off to uh, an event this evening, which is a pretty small, brief encounter. And tomorrow morning I've got coffee and a quick meeting lined up. And then it will be back home for the well, Easter weekend, long weekend. But before all that, funny, it's it's a funny one. So two, two thoughts are in my mind <clears throat> as I set up the, the phone to record this. One is, should I just do more like a, what actually happened today? Because it was a fairly full on interesting day, client wise. Or should I, again, kind of do what I normally do, which is like pick a theme as I'm doing this segment of the video and see what sticks in the front of my mind as I'm saying this. And I think I'm going to do the former um, because, well, I have two things in my mind actually. So I'm going to do the former. What I would also say though, and this might take me longer than I think, so we'll see how we get on. The more I do what I do now, the more conscious I am of the fact that in life in general, I feel like we just receive advice and perspectives, or it is just a perspective actually. Sometimes we take it as advice, but we receive a lot of it. And the more I spend time on LinkedIn, the more I talk to different people in the space, the more I'm exposed to some incredible people, fantastic agency owners, um, people that are doing exceptionally well with their business and, and doing really well in their personal life by all means, whatever that means to them. The more I do this, the more I feel like for every person that says go left, there's someone saying go right. For every person that says go up, there's someone that says go down. Then there's someone who says, do all four at once. And then there's someone that says, erase all four options. Then there's someone that says, times all four options by X and give yourself more options. Like, there will always be someone with a conflicting or different view. And it can become really challenging if you're running a business or an agency to figure out what the heck to do. <laughs> and I, I'm no different to that. And I think, I think we're all in the same boat. And I think it all just applies to different aspects of your life, right? You come to a crossroads in certain uh, certain moments or in certain times, maybe that crossroad arrives unexpectedly, maybe it arrives expectedly. But when it comes to making decisions, all you can really do is keep making them. I mean, not making a decision, in my eyes, is making a decision. You're deciding not to do something. Um, and you're choosing to, you're choosing inaction, and that is a decision. What I suppose what I'm trying to say is, in the last week alone as well, I actually wrote a LinkedIn post yesterday, and I spoke about this in yesterday's video in the context of, I saw two posts within 15 minutes talking about the same thing, completely different perspectives, and I, I strongly felt, on reflection, even strong, even more strongly than I did then, that both were off the mark. But it doesn't matter. That's just my perspective. And if I choose to share it, some people might agree, disagree, find it helpful, find it not helpful. Um, some people might take it on board. Some people might ignore it. Some people might uh, respond and critique what I've said. Everyone's going to choose. It, it's more up to choosing what you do with the advice or perspective you receive and then ultimately making a decision. And I had two fantastic client sessions today. Very different. The first one was a bit more open. It was a bit of a digging session. So like, when I say digging, I, I mean, I'm, I'm giving the founders a chance just to see what comes up for them a lot of the time. Trying to ask good questions or just ask questions. Some are probably good, some are bad, I suppose. Um, ask questions, listen, 
and see what I can help them identify and, and maybe then talk through a couple of things. Whereas the second section was a lot more like, okay, we know where we're at, we need to work through a couple of things, get a few plans in place, maybe push the founder a bit harder in a couple of areas, maybe give them a bit more space to, to see how things go in certain areas. But it was a lot more structured. But regardless, both owners now come away from those sessions with, with actions or things they've agreed to work on and things I'm going to do for them. And then there's a couple of things that they can kind of choose. Like, it's up to them. I mean, they're paying me for my expertise or my perspective or my uh, guidance. As a consequence of that, they can pretty much pick or choose what they apply to their lives and their businesses. There's no hard or fast rule about you have to do what you're told here. That's not the way this works. And I'm glad because I don't think it should be that way. There are certain things that I really encourage them to do. And I, I know from my own experiences, from doing the thing that they're currently doing, it would be wise for them to do that. But who am I to tell someone that you must do this thing? That's not how it works. Who's anyone to do that, really? You, your role is to advise or guide or steer someone on maybe in the right direction, point them in the right direction, guide them along the path potentially, it all depends, but they have to make the call. And uh, yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I, I, I haven't fully developed this thought myself. But a couple of things come up for me as I say these things. It's like, all we can really do, you could get all the advice in the world, that's all it is. It's just advice. No one's going to make the decision for you, whatever that decision is. You can watch a thousand YouTube videos on where to invest 100, 100 euro. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You have to decide where you actually put that 100 euro. I mean, I'm sure you could pay, you can pay someone to take 100 euro from you and put it somewhere. But they're probably not going to do that without maybe running it past you first. Maybe you pay them extra to not even talk to you about it. I don't know. My point being, generally, when it comes to the decisions in your life, it has to be you pressing that button or choosing that direction. That all stems from the stuff I do. And, and again, the stuff I see day to day. And I, I think it's, it's always interesting to me. You see a lot of polarised or extreme views on, or stances on things on the internet. Generally, it's to grab attention, I suppose. But for the people who genuinely feel that way about things, a lot of the time, it's not that they're right or wrong. It's just a, a view. Um, again, I'm speaking more about the world I operate in here. So again, if I pull that example off, the founder must be in the weeds. They shouldn't drop things in their business. They need to be all in on all aspects of the company for it to do well. I, I think that's a load of nonsense, truthfully. Um, but at the same time, for some people, that's perfect. That's what they want. And again, it's not for me, and I would never advise someone to do that. But for someone out there, that would be perfect. So who am I to tell them not to do it? <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Those are my general thoughts. And I've kind of blended in what happened today as well there. So maybe I've done two things at once. But uh, today today was a prime example of, of a, great, a great day as far as I'm concerned. These are the days where, again these sessions would have been relatively the same online. Every now and then doing this type of work in person, I suppose adds a percentage of, I think it gives, I just sense people are more open with me in person and that's a good thing for them and it's a good thing for me. It allows me to maybe level up the quality of my service slightly, but it definitely does not have to happen every time. Um, and also, again, you know, it allows you to meet new people if you're going to something like I'm about to. But, uh, yeah, anyhow, I'm probably going to call it there because I need to get a move on. But um, some interesting thoughts. Maybe maybe I'll pick this, pick this one up after a long weekend. So there's, there's not going to be any video tomorrow. I'm, I'm off tomorrow. I'm taking a holiday. Uh, I suppose it is technically a, a public holiday, anyhow, in some ways. And then Monday is Easter Monday, so it's definitely a public holiday. So... I will be back on Tuesday, which will be April. Yeah, we'll be into April. Wow. I think I'll do some form of I'll do some form of Q1 wrap up next week. 
I don't know if it'll be stretched across multiple videos. Maybe not. That seems a bit over the top, but... Anyway, um, we'll see. I started making these videos halfway through January, so I've been doing it for about 10 weeks now, so I'm sure there's some milestone in there somewhere for me too, but... Anyway, that's it for now. Keep making decisions. Maybe that should be my motto.